it is, I don't know, 211, someday in October on the screen. I think it's the 22nd. Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday. We are starting a new adventure in the girl. There she is back there in the vibe. We are headed to Austin, of course, because we love Austin. We are there today through Tuesday, so five, six days, and uh, we're really excited. So my name is Faber, and this is my husband, Robert, Robert. and uh, this is our channel, Welcome Life with Faber. Normally we cruise. Normally you will find us on a cruise ship, but as we are not cruising, uh-oh, it started raining. As we are not cruising right now, we had to find a new way to adventure because we don't sit still for long. So we bought an RV and now we are adventuring around Texas in an RV. Eventually we will travel beyond Texas, um, but right now while we're getting accustomed to pulling it, getting accustomed to setting it up, we're staying kind of close to home, you know, we're working out her systems, learning everything, if you will. Oh, the big trucks. I don't like it when they pass us. Anyway, um, just in case you are new, we've had a lot of questions about the truck. Uh, we tow with a... Chevy 2500 diesel. Yeah, Chevy Classic. It's a classic, right? Yeah, it's 2007. Yeah. He's just hit 160,000 miles on it. Yeah, and uh, he's, uh, his name is Rocco. And we are still working on a name for our Vibe back there. She is a uh, 2024 Scrooge Vibe 2028RL. And uh, we just bought her last month. So there you go. All right. Well, uh, we will get this trip started. So thank you so much for joining us. And uh, we'll see you in a second. I don't want to stay here, no. Ain't going to keep it low now. If you want to go, let's go. Let's wrap it up. Okay, we're here. Rob has just run into the office to check in. Of course, we will do a full tour of the park. We will show you the office. We'll show you everything to do with this park. It looks really, really nice. And uh, it looks pretty full too. <laughs> so uh, we'll see. All right, um, we're gonna go get our spot. I've got the GoPro going. The sun has kind of been a problem in the GoPro. You've probably just seen some beautiful views of Austin, but again, the sun, is kind of makes it the shot a little difficult well at least it looks like it does in the camera i could be wrong so um because it's a little bitty screen so all right well i don't know if they will lead us to our spot or we will just get to our spot i have no idea so we'll see you in a minute we have a deluxe spot and i'm sorry we're at the la hacienda rv park by sun resorts so um yeah, and we'll be in another Sun Resorts in a couple weeks. A few weeks. Yeah, a few weeks. set everything up. I think you've seen this before. <laughs> and 
and she's free. Yay! We have these rubber blocks that we use just because they don't slip and slide and they don't sink down into anything. So, and only one side comes down at a time. It's elect they're electric, so they'll come down and then the other side comes down. So, I usually get on the other side while he does this side. And these on just help stabilize it, since, especially since we're on blocks. A block. Need a hand? Yep. Our power's hooked up, but look, look in here. I'm so afraid of this thing. You see all the slugs in there? Ew! Oh, there was one up there, it fell. Gross. There's the water. So, and our power over here, we will connect water here. So stabilizers are down. There's the dump right there. Very close. That's very convenient. So this is our kitchen slide right here. So this is the outdoor shower, but look at this. It's dripping stuff. We're going to take a razor blade and get that off. All right. So I'm going to set the camera up for opening the slides. And uh, Rob's going to go get gas. The thing about towing up and down these hills is Rock was sucked up a lot of gas. <laughs> All right, I'll come home for the next week. Let's get the girl opened up. Someday we will look back, and our hearts will be whole again. Okay, now I'm just going to the fridge is packed. So we have everything here. I brought a couple ice packs to get them frozen. Not too much in there. I forgot frozen pizzas. If we need one, we can. Whoa! Okay. Let's carefully. We hit some pretty big bumps. There we go. All right, everything did pretty well. You can see my little storage containers from Ikea. They did really well, holding the salsa and queso back there. Hickama sticks. Everything else is down in here. Looks good, looks good. Did great. Okay, oh, the grapes are in the door. There we go. Alrighty. This is a cauliflower mash that I made. You guys, it was so simple and so delicious. I will definitely share the recipe with you. Alrighty, let's get this closed up. It's time to get her unpacked and ready to be lived in for this week. So uh, basically I just bought some towels and that's been food and our clothes. So we're gonna put all that away and uh, get settled, get this thing cooled off. It's hot here in Texas. It is 90 degrees in the camper right now. See you in a second. Okay, that was a very long unpack for a week. We had like groceries to put away, drinks to find a home for, huh? Clothes. Clothes, other things we picked up for the RV, and now we are starving. And as is our normal MO, we are going to have tacos because they're quick, fast, and ready to go. So I'm just gonna kick up the stove top over here and make some tacos. I brought butcher box. Uh, ground beef with me today. Brought enough so we have leftover. Ew! Ew! It juiced everywhere. One second. Anyway, um, I brought the butcher box ground beef and I brought extra so that we would have leftovers. And uh, yeah, there's going to be lots of Tex Mex this week. We're doing fajitas again this trip because they were so good last time. Um, and I took them home. We had leftovers and I took them home. This is from my confetti collection last month or a couple months ago, so that came in it. So we're gonna use them in the RV perfectly. Perfectly suited to be used in our RV. So then I brought a couple of extra paper plates. Anyway, so we're just gonna have some chips. We brought some more queso from El Habanero, uh, like we had from last time, and um, some of their salsa and we're gonna have for dinner tonight. All right, we'll see you in just a little bit. Dinner was delicious, and I have, of course, hold on. Eek! Thank you. 
made myself a cup of coffee. Oh, that's sweet and hot. Ooh, too much sugar. Uh, we're having a little trouble with the cable. We've got the TV working, but on just local channels. So, antenna, yeah. So we're trying to figure out the cable. It's not working. Like, it's not picking up any channels. So, we'll have to figure that out. And I need to do the internet. They have like basic internet here, but if you want to be able to use, you know, your Apple TV or something, you gotta pay for the internet. So I gotta set that up. And um, that's probably about it. And we're gonna relax for the rest of the evening, huh? Yes, we are. Yep, and then uh, dishes are done. Dishes are done. I do miss having a dishwasher. I mean, technically we have room. We could put one in over here, but that's not happening. Anyway, um, so I'm going to, oh, get, learn how to use my microwave. Oh, I forgot to show you the bedroom. So I ended up t taking, I don't know if you saw my last vi vibe is what I was saying, vlog. We went to Ikea, we picked up some pillows. We have some of those at home and then there are the pillowcases for it, but I was letting them fluff up. So I picked this up from Amazon. It's just a gray cover, just for the end of the bed. It's just a little coverlet. It's not, you know, it's very thin. That way it's not in the way, but I still have the gray, and I like this a thousand times better than the comforter I had on there, which was a duvet. And it was just too big. It wasn't a duvet, it was a comforter. And it was just too, too big. So now it just sits nice. The closet opens, which is nice. And it closes. There's my vacuum cleaner. I need to do the haul of everything I bought for here. So, and then we just put the towels up here for the bathroom. So they're right there. Anyway, oh, I still need to unpack the bathroom. That's what I haven't done. All right, we will see you in the morning. Good night. Okay, well we are here. Wherever, Wherever here is and nobody else is here. <laughs> Ooh, it's like 20 degrees cooler down here. Yes. Uh oh. Okay. We meet the fork in the road. The wind is picking up. The rain is coming. That storm's coming. <laughs>